I was irritated yesterday. I was calm but irritated reading STL today. They spoke to a gentleman named Patrick Tui, a Kansas City-based director of the municipal policy for the Libertarian Show Me Institute. Well, first of all, you pronounced my name correctly, so I'm grateful for that. We're off to a good start. Okay, first of all, you all worry you worry about Kansas City, okay? If you want to, like, you know, demand that bulldozers knock down, you know, Arrowhead Stadium or whatever and sports are evil, you, you, you take care of Kansas City. We're, we're over here. You, mind your own business. That's number one. So, first of all, the Show Me Institute is about 13 years old, and uh, we were headquartered in St. Louis, in your city. We write about municipal and statewide issues all the time, and in fact, uh, this stadium the owners are asking for $30 million in state tax credits. So this project actually not only affects the people in St. Louis, but the people in Kansas City and Joplin and Springfield and Cape Girardeau and everywhere across the state. Number two, let's I, I was telling my wife, yesterday, I said, I just in one paragraph, there's like three or four lies. So let's That's go impressive. through. I know it is. So let's go through. This is what this guy said. So then it's a matter of what are we willing to pay for, for that sense of local pride? OK, question. I don't even know what that means, but whatever. So a lot of times what that what that means is a lot of times uh, cities will say, oh, let's build a stadium and it'll create jobs and help the local economy. But research from all over the country demonstrates that that's just not true. It's absolutely untrue. If a city wants to say, hey, we want to spend all this tax money so we can have a good time at a stadium, that is defensible. And in fact, that's what Mayor Slay said last year, that people love football, so we should build this. Uh, that's the point I was trying to make. If you're going to say, hey, we just want to do this for fun, that's defensible. If you're going to say this will create jobs and help the local economy, the research doesn't back that up. We are diverting money away from basic services. Lie. In, this, in terms of this project lie 100% false in the real world uh, if the owners wanted to build a stadium in st. Louis they would purchase the land and then they would buy construction materials to build the stadium and they would pay taxes on their property they would pay taxes on their investment they would pay taxes on the construction materials all sorts of things like that but that's not what the owners want to do here they're coming to the city and they're saying we don't want to pay these taxes and so as a result the stadium means that very important infrastructure projects like the police, like the school, uh, won't be funded. So I'm exactly right. This deal diverts money away from very important basic infrastructure. We are diverting money away from city police. Lie. What? Actually, as a voter who passed for, we, pa we passed a measure a while back to create more revenue for the police. You know, more, 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 more money that would go towards the police. That's lie number two. You're diverting money away from infrastructure. Lie. You're actually building infrastructure, you nincompoop. Uh, you are diverting money away from schools. Lie. For this stadium, is that what really, really what St. Louis needs? So, again, you said earlier in the segment that people who want to build a stadium shouldn't argue that this is going to revolutionary revolutionize uh, St. Louis. And I think you're exactly right. Uh, it is what it is, but it's not going to tackle the very important issues that face St. Louis. And so I'm simply saying, uh, is this stadium really where St. Louis needs to be focusing its attention? I, I suggest it is not. You would further your cause by telling the truth instead of lying. Five lies in one paragraph. Five lies. Just because you don't understand uh, uh, economic development incentives or just because you don't know anything about the Show Me Institute doesn't mean we are lying about our positions. This is why I hate these people. They can't have an honest discussion. Well, listen, I would absolutely welcome the opportunity to come on your show and have the honest discussion that you talked about. How can someone who's just going to say stuff like that and who doesn't even live here have a platform to do that? I know. The Show Me Institute has been talking about public policy in Missouri for at least a decade. Uh, we testify in St. Louis, in Kansas City, in Joplin, in St. Joe. We deliver testimony in front of the state legislature. Um, I recommend you you look into us. They're the pol I call them the PCI, the politically correct insane. Politically correct insane. I've got two portraits of Ronald Reagan behind me. Uh, we've been called a lot of things at the Show Me Institute, but politically correct is an absolute new one. And they are just as dangerous as the fringe lunatics on the other side of the spectrum. They're just as bad. All right. 
I don't think we were invited uh, for this part of the discussion, but if you want to have a back and forth and discuss important policy, uh, we absolutely accept. In the meantime, if you want to learn more about economic development incentives or about the Show Me Institute, you can visit us at showmeinstitute.org. Thank you.